Eccentrics is a dynamic stretch and strengthening workout that's going to tone your entire body and increase flexibility overall. I'm Sarah Esmond White and welcome to WatchMojo.com where we're going to show you three eccentrics exercises. Eccentrics exercise one is one of the exercises that we do usually at the beginning of classes and it really starts to open up your posture, loosen up those shoulders, flatten your abs and starts working on your waist. So you bend your knees, you bring your arms back and it's a really nice flowing movement. You lift all the way up and then you start lifting a little higher which really works into the abs and pulling your arm back which works the front, other arm. It's really great to try, you should try along. So then both arms up. Using your arms, lifting your arms up and really pulling really helps to thin out all your abs, your sides and even a little bit into your back fat. Eccentrics exercise number two is called a, an eccentric side stretch, which really loads up your sides and your abs to really lengthen those muscles and strengthen those muscles. So you pull to the side. You work the arms too because first of all, it's a full body program. So we're wanting to move every piece of that body as much as we can. And then we use our own body as a load as you lift up and you're pulling upwards. So it's like using your body as the weight to really work to strengthen and suck in the sides. So you do that, keeping your posture up, pulling as far as you can, it gets right into the arms, it starts freeing up all your ribs, so you feel that nice stretch as well as the strengthen. Third and final eccentrics exercise is, save the best for last, a really, really great toner for the outer thigh, the saddlebag. Really hurts, but in a very good way. For women, tone it, lean it out, bring it in, so your pants fit better, everything fits better. For men, it's about creating freedom in the hip joint. The, the key difference that Eccentrics has with other programs is that you're really pulling out each time. Your hip is forward and you're really reaching as far as you can outwards before you lift. It's not an exercise where your leg comes way up easily. If you're pulling out of the joint, your leg actually doesn't want to lift that high. So if you're trying this at home, pull it out, reach as far as you can, and then try to lift. And if it'll only go up a little bit, basically as, as high as Dachance's leg will go, then you know you're doing it right and also you can feel it right in that saddlebag. 